I'm Jeremy Narby. I'm an anthropologist. I've been coming to the Peruvian Amazon for close to 30 years, and I'm here at the Temple of the Way of Light, um, and uh, I've never really seen a, a project or a center quite like this. Um, first of all, and obviously, there are the um, very talented Shipibo healers and ayahuasqueros, both men and women, and uh, the experience of being able to uh, do an ayahuasca ceremony with six Shipibo healers, as I had last night, uh, is an out-of-this-world experience. It has to be lived to, to be believed. So that's the first thing, is that uh, this place gives access to first-class or world-class uh, um, ayahuasca know-how. And for those interested in modified states of consciousness and these um, alternative approaches to healing, um, this is really a, a, an excellent place to come. But uh, moreover, what's uh, so impressive about the, the uh, temple here, and I say temple because that's its name. Myself, I'm an agnostic, so which means that uh, I know that I don't know about final causes, so I'm not a religious person. But uh, what's nice about the Temple of the Way of Light is that it is not a religious uh, organization. It's a place where traditional Amazonian uh, medical practitioners, uh, ayahuasca uh, specialists from the Shipibo people come and show what they know, administer their medicine. And it's a fantastic place for people of all cultures to come and to get to know this approach to uh, healing. Uh, it, uh, it's also just a beautiful place in itself. And it's not just focused on ayahuasca ceremonies, but it has a whole uh, holistic approach, including permaculture, and including outreach to indigenous communities uh, around it. So what's going on here is uh, a very exciting project. Um, I've also been impressed by the, uh, the work extension program so that people who want to come here and make their own knowledge and work available in exchange for uh, experiencing what the uh, temple offers. Um, this is uh, innovative and um, I think it's something uh, uh, it's part of the future. I think that this project shows that uh, if you have well-intentioned and uh, uh, energetic people, you can uh, actually build a whole, it's like a research institute or almost uh, like a, a university. Um, so I think um, that people who have an interest in Amazonian medicine can come to the Temple of the Way of Light and uh, it's, a, it's a first class door into this world. Uh, so this is, uh, I think, a, a place of the future. It's a, an intercultural learning center where you have the Amazonian uh, indigenous medical or uh, healing knowledge on the one hand, and then different aspects of the uh, Western world or, or let's say wider world. Uh, that comes here. So it's a bringing together of different forms of knowledge that is happening uh, in real time. It's a, like a, a, a life-size uh, experiment and that's what I find exciting about it. And it really does honor Amazonian knowledge and it also honors other forms of knowledge. And so the, this is uh, one of the rare places where these different forms of knowledge actually has come together, is coming together, and people can come and take a look at it and experience it and then make up their own minds. Temple of the Way of Light is a cool place on multiple levels and um, I look forward to coming back and seeing how it evolves.